I'm Bill Dahl with Dalco Incorporated. We've uh, been selling a product called Clean Bright for moss control on roofs and most exterior surfaces, sidewalks, driveways, walls, rockeries. And we thought we'd try to come up with a better applicator system than what most contractors are currently currently using. Uh, our goal is to make contractors as productive and as profitable as possible. And I think this is a piece of equipment that'll that'll do that for you. Uh, the equipment includes a 50-gallon tank, ball valve, strainer, 3-gallon a minute, 150 psi pump. We've got a high-pressure hose reel with 200 feet of 320 psi treatment hose on it. A 27 series battery, which is a deep cycle marine battery designed for recharging. Regulator, pressure gauge, priming line, and bypass line back into the top into the tank. It also includes an aluminum wand and a variety of spray tips to achieve pretty much any spraying application that you need to address. Yeah, I'd like to go through a few reasons why we decided to go with a 12 volt uh, DC powered pump versus uh, pump up sprayer, backpack sprayer, or gas powered uh, treatment pump. With the electric pump, essentially you've got no, very little noise. You can operate 6 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock at night, you're not going to be disrupting your customers or their neighbors. Um, if you're operating the equipment in a van, you don't have to worry about gas fumes. You've got lower maintenance with an electric pump. You don't have spark plugs, air filter, oil changes. You don't need to be carrying gas with you. Uh, in comparison to the uh, pump-up sprayers and backpack sprayers, tremendously faster. Um, it's all about production. How many jobs can you do per day? Obviously, with uh, putting out three gallons a minute, uh, not having to carry a uh, backpack around, up ladders, etc. It's going to save you a lot of time. Um, with this unit here, you can apply three gallons a minute. That would be uh, 3,000 square feet in 10 minutes. The average roof is 3,000 square, uh, square feet. So if you can envision doing an average size roof 10 to 20 minutes versus the alternative, you've got more money in your pocket. Okay, what I'd like to do is basically uh, demonstrate the equipment, uh, show first of all what sort of distance we can shoot. Uh, if you're applying a product onto roofs, if you can do as much of the work from the ground or perhaps all the work from the ground using a wand like this with this pump or utilizing an 18-foot extension wand, if you can do these treatments from the ground. Uh, I know L and I, at least in the state of Washington, charges six dollars and some cents an hour for people who are working on the roofs. If you can keep them off the roofs, still get the job done. Tremendous amount of savings. So we'll basically give you a demonstration of how far the, we shoot with a number zero tip, and then we'll switch over to uh, a spray type tip and show you how much surface we can cover. So right now I've got a number 20 nozzle on here, zero degree. It's uh, 45 feet from my location right here to our sign. We won't get that quite that far, but it'll give us a good idea of how far we can shoot from the air chemical. We've already shown you what sort of distance that we can uh, shoot with a zero degree nozzle. I now have a number uh, 15 full size, 40 degree tip, and we'll show you uh, what's involved in terms of uh, doing some flat work and uh, show you basically how easy the equipment is to use.
This particular parking stall is uh, 23 feet long 20. by uh, 10 feet wide. And basically, we just did it in a few seconds. Okay, um, again, the demonstration basically was just to show you the speed of application. Uh, this could be used for a variety of different products. Uh, in the case of our Clean Bright product, if this were a surface that we wanted to treat for moss, mold, or whatever, our normal application procedure would be to apply the product until you just start to see bubbling on the surface, and then you've got enough product on there. That's basically one gallon per uh, 100 square feet. So, proper thickness of application to speak uh, would be about like this. I barely want enough material on the surface to bubble up and then generally if you're on concrete within two or three seconds it all gets absorbed into the concrete. 